ChatGPT4 is here and it is scarier than ever. You can literally draw on a piece of paper, a template for a website that you want to be built, take a picture of it, upload it to GPT-4, and it will turn your drawing on a piece of paper into a fully functional website. Within a matter of seconds, it will code the entire drawing that you drew with a pen into HTML code in front of your eyes. I have here a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. Take a photo. And so we can actually take now this output from that picture. And here we go. Actual working JavaScript. Write me an HTML site that is the main hub landing page for me to link all of my social medias with a nice, neat, modern, and clean row of clickable buttons that are color coded with I am lucid glitch effect at the top. It's writing me the code in front of your eyes right now. It's not the fastest but it's definitely working. We're gonna run this, execute this at the end. Note that you will need to replace the dummy Unicode characters with appropriate icons for each social media platform. You can use an icon library. Additionally, you need to adjust the URLs for each social button to link your specific profile. This is telling me exactly what to do with the code that it just wrote me right now. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna run this code right here. Run the code. So now we have a actual website with all of these buttons. I have to change the logos, obviously. I'm not sure why it couldn't give me, maybe because it's copyrighted. We have a RGB glitch effect happening. This is actually really, really cute, bro. I like this a lot. It literally made an RGB glitch style of text effect, which, which is not bad. Like This is what it looks like on my site. This is one that we have made, which is pretty cute. But I think if we mix that with this, we, we got some good code going on. All right, this is my YouTube button. Let's see if it takes me to my actual channel. Yes, sir. Oh my God, that's nuts. It actually copied the exact color for each of the social media pages. Like we have YouTube is red, Instagram has that blue and purple. If I just add like a background, change the logos, this would be a fully functional site made within 30 seconds. I, I can't code. I have zero coding experience. And I just built this in two minutes with one single prompt. Write a RGB glitch text effect that says I am lucid in bold letters. It should be really creative, have a lot of effects. Should a glitch every once in a while, similar to a VHS tape, should be rays of color that come out from behind it. I just gave it so much dumb detail. And let's see if we can turn this into an actual beautifully coded I am lucid RGB glitch. Wow, it's still coding. Look at all this code it's writing. It looks so beautiful. Oh my God. It's still going, my boy. Okay, I think we're done now. This is really, really kind of cute. It has a little glow to it. Does mine even, mine doesn't even have that. I'm going to add that to my site, bro. Wow, bro. It coded all of this in like one minute. People online were actually talking about using this to write a federal lawsuit to spam callers that call them. So I copied their draft and I'm going to send it in right here. I received a spam call from I am lucid corporation draft a federal lawsuit for $1,500 under the TCPA to sue. Use the context you've learned from other cases. Let's see what it writes from right now. This is going to be <laughs> a straight, I said, I am not a lawyer but I can provide you with a general template to help you draft a complaint for a TCPA violation. This is writing up a whole lawsuit right in front of our eyes right now. Like it's, it's being a lawyer for me. One amazing feature that this has is content summarization. So if you're a student that doesn't want to read the 45 page biography of someone that died a thousand years ago, you can actually just copy that text. Theoretically, you shouldn't do that because it's unethical. <clears throat> I would never. You can copy that piece of text, paste it into here and say, summarize this extremely long piece of text for me so I can save time and read it within just a few seconds. Let's actually go find an article that was written about me. I feel like I'm the man right now. This YouTuber has had his life threatened during a game of Among Us. This is on Sports Keto, which is so funny. I'm gonna copy this text and paste it into ChatGPT to save time so you guys don't have to read it for yourself. So it turned this entire article into one paragraph. Inner Slots Among Us has gained immense popularity recently, even though it was released in 2018. It shouldn't have added that detail in that that was kind of more of like a filler preface text. And then it goes into saying, however, this popularity has also exposed the gaming community's toxic side. YouTuber I Am Lucid shared a har har harrowing, harrow whoa, that's a new word, a harrowing experience where a 30 year old man threatened to kill him during a game of Among Us highlighting how negative behavior can impact even family-friendly games. It did a pretty bad job, not gonna lie. Name jobs that GPT-4 can replace and list the results in a chart. Job, content writer? My boy, that that's me, that's number one. This is literally my job. Oh my, social media manager, my boy, I'm screwed, what's going on? The human trait that is being replaced is creativity and writing. So this thing has its, its own creativity. It doesn't even need mine anymore because it can write its own scripts, video ideas, everything about it. And it's eventually probably gonna be making content, news, and videos 
better than I can. Customer support representative. It has better communication and empathy than a human being would. I can attest to this, bro. A freaking rock has more empathy than these customer support agents. Social media manager. Content creation and planning. It's better, it's better than me at doing... Oh no, it's lucid crying. So I just made me this text animation right here using HTML. It's it's not bad. Like it's not the greatest. I think mine is still better. Looks more legit, but this is not bad for someone that has no coding experience whatsoever. I have to try to jailbreak GPT-4. I have the jailbreak prompt right here. I'm gonna press send. I'm sorry, but I must adhere to ethical. Oh no, GPT-4 is too smart. Oh my God, we can't jailbreak it. Here's a credit card transaction. I'd like you to find the merchant for, including the merchant's location. And we put, we just copied and pasted what was in the credit card details that we found online, totally fake. And it says, oh, this appears to be from this taco place. This exact location is in this state, in this uh, city of this state. One interesting thing about GPT-4 is that it can look at images and figure out exactly what's going on inside of the image. This can definitely outdo CAPTCHAs, even though it's a robot doing an anti-robot CAPTCHA, it can definitely work. You can show a picture to it, like for an example of a picture of a person holding a balloon, and then you can ask it, if I cut the string, what will happen? It'll say, oh, the balloon's gonna fly away. Or you can even show a funny meme online. It'll say, oh, this is so funny because of these reasons. I'll tell you exactly why the image is actually humorous coming from an AI. Or better yet, and this isn't even out to the public yet, but you can draw out your own website design on paper and then just like draw out the shapes and boxes and squares and pieces of text all over it. Take a picture of it, upload it to GPT-4, and it will turn whatever you drew on your notebook in a little sketch into a fully functioning site. This nobody has access to just yet, but it's coming out really, really soon. And when it does, I'll be sure to make a video on it the same day that it drops. Stay tuned and subscribe for more of these types of videos. I find AI to be one of the craziest things out right now. It's like Bitcoin back when it first started, in my opinion. So I'll be out on top of that as soon as it drops. Thank you all for being here. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.